Hi everyone, I'm Jesse with Cam Perspective and I'm here with a special video. Uh, we're going to be comparing a TENS unit that I picked up from a Walgreens uh, with an e-collar. Um, if you're one of our clients, you're aware that uh, remote collar is uh, our preferred way of training. I find it to be the most effective and efficient way of training a dog uh, because you get on-leash and off-leash control immediately. Uh, and also it's very effective with working with behaviors. <laughs> um, but there's a lot of stigma around it. There's a lot of uh, misconceptions about it. A lot of people who do consultations with us think uh, it's electrocution and all that stuff. And once I explain the technology, then it kind of uh, clears up um, the topic for them. So I literally picked this up from a Walgreens. Uh, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. But you can see here where it says Walgreens right there. Uh, I picked, it, picked this up for about $39.99 pre-tax. Um, it has four pads and two channels. So there's an A and B channel with uh, two pads per channel, so four in total. Um, it says seven stimulation modes and 10 intensity levels. So I think that's 10 intensity levels per mode. So that should, I believe, equal seven, 70 um, different types of intensities, okay? So this is the box that it came in. I read the instructions and everything like that. Um, there was a lot of, uh, kind of warnings and bewares and stuff like that, uh, especially if you have like a pacemaker or anything like that. Um, uh, they do not advise that you use this. Um, so over here, I have it opened already, as, as well as the collar that I'm gonna be utilizing. I have here a Dogtra Black Edition, which is the highest output collar there is in the Dogtra um, selection. So these are the two pads that I'm talking about. So I'm gonna place one here on my hand and another here on uh, my forearm. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, uh, put it to channel A, and then currently it's at one. I'm gonna go to, now I feel uh, more of an intense, I actually feel it now. Two, or one, two, one, three. So now you can start seeing my hand, this is involuntary and it comes in pulses. There it is. Right. So when my hand closes, that's involuntary. It's now turned off and now it's turned on again. So it comes in waves. Uh, I'm gonna go to uh, one four. It's a little bit harder to move my fingers. Uh, this is one five. This is getting pretty strong now. Uh, this is one six even harder to, to, to open my hand against the uh, intensity. You can see these two fingers aren't even, uh, aren't even opening up. I'm assuming because of the muscle it's making contact with here. So now I'm at one, uh, seven. Even harder to open up my hands. This is one eight. And you can see how my fingers are completely contracted here. This is all, again, involuntary. Uh, 110, or 19, and then 110. All the way back to one. So if I change the mode, so the, this mode seems to be much more subtle because I'm already on three. Now I'm starting to feel it. You can see a little bit there, uh, that little twitch. So again, that's involuntary. Uh, this is two, uh, seven, two, eight. This is two, nine, and this is two, 10. And this is much less in terms of intensity than the uh, one mode, uh, it's going to go to three. This is more of a static, like a continuous, yeah, this is more continuous, like on, a, on an e-collar. This is three, 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 four, three, five, three, six, getting a little bit harder to keep my hand open, three, seven, Three, eight, nine, ten. So all that was involuntary. Um, 
me go to mode four. This is like a stronger continuous. Definitely the jump between 4.6 and 4.7 is pretty great. Right there. there, that's a pretty big jump there. Nine and then 10. Uh, let's go to five. It's like another type of continuous. This one's got a bit of a pulse to it. Uh, six, six one, six two, six three, six four, six five. This feels more like kind of a, of a vibration. Uh, six six, six seven. I can still open my hand. Six eight, nine, and then ten. But I can still kind of move my hand. So it's not as, as strong as the other ones. Bring that down. Now this is the last setting. One, so this is seven, setting seven. One, two, three, four, five. It's like a pulsing continuous. Six, seven, eight, nine. So you can see the pulse there and how it lets go. And then 10. Bring that back down. So that was all the, the seven settings going through all the intensities. Um, I'm going to go to remove this. Okay. And then I have here an e collar. So, like I said, this is the Dr. Black edition. I'm going to dip this down. Uh, this code has 120, 127 respective levels. They go up in increments of one. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 127. I'm currently at 10. I don't feel anything, but you can see the flash when I'm pressing the button here. Um, I'll go to 20. Okay, now I feel it. So I feel a slight little tingle. It's sturdy. Forty. I'm trying to get a good contact here. So there, at forty, you can start to see my thumb twitch because I have it placed on this muscle here. So it stimulates this muscle, which then moves this thumb. So that all that again is involuntary. But this feels um, pretty much the same as the TENS unit that I was just using. So that's 50, 60. So depending on where I place it, if I place it more in the center of my hand, I don't get much movement from my thumb, but when I have it placed actually where my muscle is, you can see the big contraction, okay? So when we work with e-collar, uh, or you know, we, we come across people who are uneducated with e-collar is most of the time they think it's electrocution. They think it's an electric current running through your dog's body, uh, which is incorrect. Uh, it's electric, but not electricity is usually how I dub it. Um, there is a slight current, uh, not that runs through the body, but between these two probes that stimulate the muscle much like that um, TENS unit did. So you can literally, you know, I picked up that TENS unit from Walgreens. You go to the back pain management section and then you'll see them there. Um, and they range anywhere from 40 bucks. And I think I've seen some up to like hundred bucks. And I'm sure there's some that are even more expensive uh, and they're probably more refined. Uh, this was obviously for the sake of demonstration. So I just got a $40 one. Um, but the sensation of how it's delivered and what it's actually doing uh, to the muscle and everything is the same. So when we hear terms like, oh, you're shocking your dog or you're, oh, you're electrocuting your dog, it's really just terminology meant to talk down to someone and to make them feel bad and to make them feel guilty and essentially to deter them from using these tools. Um, because 
they don't like the tool. But in essence, they're lies because this technology is used on humans for uh, sports injury rehabilitation, um, for uh, releasing uh, or relieving muscle tension, uh, muscle pain. Um, they use a lot in chiropractic offices. I did an interview with a um, physical therapist who used it all the time, whose veterinarian had told her not to use an e-collar because it was gonna ruin her dog and it was, she was electrocuting her dog. And then once I explained the technology to her and I said, this is just a miniaturized TENS unit and she felt it on her hand, she's like, you're exactly right, this is just a TENS unit. Um, so again, they're using this terminology based on how they feel about the training approach or the training tools. Uh, but in reality, they're all fallacies, it's all lies, it's all stuff, it's all propaganda meant to, to get you to not do it and instead to use positive reinforcement only, treat-based, infection-based, uh, praise-based training, uh, which has its place in dog training. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with that, but I do not rely on those things to create me reliable results because we need to have a balance of both positive reinforcement and positive punishment, adding something good, adding something bad. Those two things work really well together. Uh, we solely, um, when we do training, you know, we don't really do a whole lot of prong collar anymore because I believe it takes too much technical skill, whereas remote collar is very intuitive for people because they, we, you know, we're so button-based now with our cell phones and even cars start to press of a button, uh, picking your elevator level to the press of a button. So it's more intuitive to people uh, and it um, requires less skill. Uh, as long as you have common sense and, and, and logic, you can understand how this uh, technology works and how it works when we're applying it to training. So. This video is meant to explain uh, that, uh, or, or to demonstrate that there really is no difference between this and the TENS unit. It's the same technology, they're doing the same thing, they're stimulating the muscle, you're not electrocuting your dog, you're not shocking your dog, you're literally stimulating a muscle. And the higher you go, the more uncomfortable it does become. Um, but we go by the dog, much like physical therapists go by the human. If, you know, you saw me go through seven settings, all 10 settings um, for each one, you know, if someone said, oh, you know, four is, is the max that I'll go, the physical therapist may push it a little bit more if they feel that the person needs it for their, um, to, to uh, ease their, their muscle tension, what have you, but they would go based off the human. Like, it, in some cases, they would just keep it at the four to allow the human to, to um, take the pressure and then maybe in time increase the pressure over sessions. Uh, I don't know because I'm not a physical therapist, but I do know that's, um, that is how they operate, is they go by the person's preference. If the person says, hey, is that too, that's too much, they'll dip it down and allow the machine to work at that level until they're able to build that person's tolerance to the machine and then increase the pressure. So that's my video for today. Uh, E-collar versus a TENS unit and vice versa. As you saw, just a muscle stimulator. I'm just your Canine Perspective. Thank you for watching.